Hey guys, it's me Hopping Hamster. So today I'm going to be doing a DIY video for you guys to do with hamsters. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm making guys stare at my ugly face. That's because my hamsters aren't up yet and um, I didn't want to wake them just for a quick introduction. So I just decided to do it with my face. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to show my face on YouTube but now I've decided to. And just to prove to you guys, there's the hammies. And I'm sorry about the mess in here. It's because I'm going on holiday soon, as you can tell. Right over there. Um, and I'm just kind of trying to sort out this place. But, but yeah, I'll basically hurry up with this introduction. Because you guys probably don't want to stare at my ugly mug for any longer. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a hamster potty and pipa scooper. And also how to potty train your hamster. So yeah, I just decided to do this video. And um, before I start my new series, which is going to be called Dummies for ha um, Hamsters for Dum Dummies for Hamsters, Hamsters for Dummies. And um, because you know those books are like computers for dummies and stuff. Yeah, I thought it was quite clever. And for the most part, all you're gonna need for this is a bottle, just any old bottle that you're finished with. Some sort of little box that you can use as the toilet. And some scissors. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later. So the first thing you're going to have to do for this DIY is find a little box that you can just use for a toilet. So I'm going to be using this one because I basically um, found this little one and I thought it would be cute as a toilet. Also, if you're using a little house like this, like that actually looks like a house and has a lid and stuff, you do risk the chance of them sleeping in it but i'm going to take that chance because i'm going to be making sure that they will um definitely at least pee in it once <laughs> so yeah so that's basically what you're going to need for the potty i like this because i can just put the top down and let them go in or i can take the top up and let them go in that way now if you have a house like this and you would rather to make it less like homely so that they might go to the toilet in it you can just take this part off or take these parts off or both and you can always lie this out straight. So that's going to be the potty. Now for the bottle, we move the lid and the wrapper. Now I'm making it look much harder than it actually is here. It's actually a lot easier than this, but this bottle is particularly sticky. So yeah, sorry, I'm meant to be focusing on this purple part, but I keep like kind of drifting off. So don't worry if you can't get it all off like I can't. Um, just get it off for the most part because we don't have to use this part. So now grab something like a marker that you'll be able to draw on it with. The bottle. Now draw something roughly like this and make sure these two lines go almost all the way around because that's going to be the actual scooper part. Now cut it out. So it's taking a while but it's taking mostly I will to put actually a little dent in it and when I get this little hole I'll be able to cut the whole thing out with just that one tiny little hole it's just kind of hard to get that tiny little hole out so probably your best bet is to just warm like a craft knife up or your scissors up um, on um, the oven and then just stab that right through and that will just melt the plastic and basically it'll come away easier so yeah, that's just a little tip. So I managed to cut that out and I have this. It kind of looks a little bit like a glass cola bottle. So then the next step that I'm going to take is just to round out these corners. So now my poop is a little bit um, sticky because it had lemonade in it. So I'm just rinsing it out with some cold water. But not all of you guys will have to do that because um, like some people will have just had water in there. So it won't be sticky, but I mean, it just is. So yeah. And I'm also going to disinfect it with this. Um, so, this is the Epitech Plus hand wash and sensitive. And I like to get the sensitive stuff because it doesn't seem to harm my hamsters um, at all. So, yeah. And plus, I don't actually, like, obviously give this to my hamsters. I just clean out their cage with it. But I like to make sure that I'm using something clean to, like, scoop out their cage with. So let's do that. So the ink on here, like mine, doesn't come off. Don't worry about that because you're not really looking for the looks of it. You're just looking for the purpose of it. So I'm finished with this. 
Now you can either leave this out in the sun to dry, leave it on a towel, or you can just scrub it with a towel or blast it with the blow dryer. I'm just going to be scrubbing it with a towel. So now I've basically got the poop -a scoop and the little poop house. So now what we're just going to be doing is um, potty training our hamsters. First thing you have to do is either take some aspen or some um, paper based bedding. So this is some paper based bedding here. And what I'm just going to do is put this into here. So yeah, just like that. It'd probably be easier with something like Carefresh because it's more in bunches. This stuff is basically just little layers of paper. You could also use toilet paper or something. So now what you're going to do is find the area where your hamster is peeing and scoop out some of the bedding from there. So yeah, I use basically Aspen stuff. And then what you're just going to want to do is just put that right into where you want your hamster to pee. Now this also works for if you want them to pee in just a different area. It's like they're peeing in the middle of the cage and you just want them to pee somewhere else because hamsters are going to smell the pee and they're just going to be like, um, well that's where I peed last time so I'm going to pee there again because hamsters are very clean um, animals and they're also an animal of habit. They just do whatever they've done before. So you can see that and there is a few like little poos mixed in there. Um... So that's just going to make it even more realistic, like they're going to think that they've slept there before. Now, if your hamster is peeing on the wheel and you want to stop them from doing that, what you just want to do is take a piece of kitchen cloth or whatever and wipe it, like wipe the wheel, and then you just put it right under there and then cover it with the bedding. And again, they're going to smell it and clean out the wheel so they can't smell any of like the wheel of the pee on the wheel. I just find the corner where they were peeing before, but Yuki's got up now, so. Hey, Yuki. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> she says hi. No, what are you doing? Best thing you can ever possibly do is put it where your hamster was peeing before. So, hopefully I'll be able to fit this under here. If I just remove... little rush ball. And then, there we go, it's managed to fit under there. And hopefully she'll use her little potty. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It was really fun for me to do, even though it might be a little bit long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.